The new Surface tablet has arrived in our office and we're ready to take Microsoft's first Windows RT machine for a spin. The retail box is interesting and extravagant. The box-like outer sleeve houses the Surface box alongside a smaller one for the touch cover. Despite the elaborate packaging, all we found inside was a two-piece charger the Microsoft Circus and a pamphlet. The same can be said for the touch cover box. The Surface tablet is coated with a molten magnesium alloy dubbed Vapor Mag, which is pleasing to the touch and resistant to fingerprints, although it doesn't hide them completely. At the front, the Surface sports a 10.6 inch display of 1366 by 768 pixels resolution with around 148 ppi. The result isn't the best and far from retina territory, but in reality we found it crisp and sharp enough so that you won't notice any faults with regular use. Under the display, there's a branded capacitive button, which is always active even when the screen is off. Above the display is the ambient light sensor and a tiny LED indicating when the front camera is on. There are two 720p compatible cameras on the surface. The first is above the screen in landscape mode and the second one is on the back. The latter is tilted so that when you place the device on its kickstand, the camera is still angled horizontally. There are two loudspeakers on each side of the surface. On the right side, there's also a micro HDMI port and a full-size USB 2.0 port and the charging port. The left side holds the volume rocker, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a thin slit which facilitates opening up the kickstand. On top of the surface, we find two microphones under dust protection grills. The bottom holds a magnetic deck where the keyboard attaches. The kickstand opens up easily and is very handy for placing the device on a flat surface. The surface comes with Windows RT, the ARM-based version of Microsoft's new Windows 8 operating system. It's virtually the same as Windows 8, but cannot run legacy apps, meaning that only apps from the Windows Store will run on it. When you power on the surface, you're immediately greeted by the modern UI which is based upon the live tile interface of Windows Phone, but it's a horizontally swiped grid instead of a vertical one. There's also the classic desktop view, which should be instantly recognizable if you come from a Windows environment. It features Office Preview 2013 and familiar apps such as Notepad, Paint, Command Prompt, Control Panel, and others, and is great for when you're in laptop mode. Outside of desktop mode, the modern UI is operated mainly via gestures. They take some time to get used to, but once you get the hang of them, it'll be smooth sailing. A swipe from the left frame toggles between currently opened apps. The same gesture from the right reveals a charms menu, which has options for search, share, settings, and more. Swiping from the top or bottom reveals app specific options, while a swipe all the way down to the bottom closes the app. A swipe from the left and quickly back reveals the Alt-Tab menu for a more conventional app switching option. You can go back to the main menu at any time by pressing on the Windows key at the bottom. You can also place two apps on the screen simultaneously, one being bigger and a second in a tiny window. This is particularly handy when you're chatting with someone and are in the middle of doing something else. As far as apps go, the service comes with a wide variety pre-installed. Calendar handles all of your appointments. It's what we've seen on Windows Phone, only bigger. The Map app uses Microsoft's own Bing Maps and features driving directions using the built-in GPS receiver. There's also the very cool Travel app, which is great for when you're in a new city and want to know what's good. The Windows Store allows you to browse apps in a lot of different genres, 
And although it doesn't have the same number of apps as Android or iOS, they're just as easy to install. Finally, Internet Explorer 10 has two versions, one on the desktop and one in the touch-based modern view. On the desktop, IE is basically a port of the Windows 8 version, while on the modern side, it's touch-optimized and looks like a bigger counterpart of the Windows Phone version.